Sweet Chef Jenny Ross, and thanks for joining me live from Biofoc here in Nuremberg, Germany. This is the world's largest marketplace for organic and natural foods, and we are so honored to be here as Tribest, one of the equipment companies helping to make healthy living easier in your own home kitchen. I want to show you about one of the pieces of equipment that I've been using for a long time in the Tribest lineup. This is the Soya Bella soy milk maker, but it does so much more than soy milk. In fact, this is my favorite piece of equipment to use for making raw nut and seed milks. It's fast and easy. You don't need a nut milk bag. And of course, it's easy even enough for kids to use it. So this one, you're going to love it. Let me show you how to use it. And let's make some walnut milk. Love walnut milk. It's so good for the brain. One of my good friends that's a brain professor talks about this looking just like a brain. So we love walnuts because they're so beneficial. Let's go ahead and add in some water. We're gonna make a four cup blend so you can see how much this can handle. One of the things that a lot of times people think about pieces of equipment like this is that they have to do small batches. That's not the case in the Soya Bella. So we've got in the water and now what we're gonna do is add in the nuts. So these are walnuts. I have a cup and a half of walnuts in here and you can see the blade, it's just an S blade attached to the motor. Let's go ahead and fix it on here. So you just wiggle your nuts in, whether you're using cashews or pine nuts or maybe pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds. And once you get the blade down below the nuts, you're able to attach it. So one of the great things about working with something like this is you can control all the ingredients in your nut milk. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get the blade right down there into the bottom. And then of course, we're gonna turn it to lock it. So this is an important step. Make sure your machine is completely locked when you're gonna do this. And you'll see on the side, it'll let you know locked, open, or closed. So I can close it, I can open it easily. Very, very easy to work with. So you can see, once you get used to the spinning action, you're good to go. Another great thing is that on the side here, you will see the different measurements. So let's say you're making a smaller batch. You know to put your nuts and seeds in here, larger batch, the line line. So we have lots of options here. Okay, let's stick it right in to the water and we're gonna hit milk. There's two options here, mill and milk. So where the red dot is, is blinking, <laughs> you'll wanna hit that right there on top. So we'll just press mill and get the motor into action. You can hear it blending up. This is gonna be fast and easy. Now, if you want to add a little bit of sweetener to your nut milk or a little bit of spice, what you can do, you can see it's like a 30 second cycle, is pull up the top and in just that short time, we've already got a frothy milk. Can you see it dripping from there? Isn't that beautiful? Now what I'll do, because we can use that same spinning action to sweeten the milk, is I'm gonna add right in here a little bit of raw agave nectar which is a sweetener that's low glycemic just two teaspoons for this whole blend and a pinch of sea salt so we can separate the flavors this is going to be better than any box milk you've ever purchased and of course because i made it in here it's still raw and i'll be able to save it for up to five days in the refrigerator so let's go ahead and press mill one more time to get all the sweetener and everything mixed up. You would add spices in here if you'd like. I like to add raw cacao in here, just like this. Now, I have this here so you can start to see as it comes out what you have left inside here. Because a lot of times when we're making nut and seed milks, we've got all the pulp left over. You can see how easy it is to get to both. So much better than a nut milk bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour out some milk straight from the machine. So you can see the beautiful consistency. Look at that without even having to strain it. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful consistency. Now I'm going to pull this up and you can see the milk dripping from the bottom. And then once we do that, we can transfer the whole unit or just the bottom over here so that it can sit without having any additional mess on the countertop. You can also empty out your nut milk right in here and take your pulp and put it in the Sedona dehydrator. So you can have some great um, dried nut flour for the next day or to infuse into your raw creations in your own raw kitchen. So now you can see inside here this beautiful frothy mix. And we're gonna go ahead and share this with all of our friends here at Biofoc. This has been a little bit of a tutorial on how to make fresh walnut milk and the Soya Bella. 
This is a great, simple tool that sits on your countertop. Anyone can use it. Thanks so much for joining us live from BioFoc. It's Chef Jenny Ross. Bye-bye. Друзья, только что вы видели, как собирается шнековые сукожималки Tribe Slow Star. Посмотрели своими глазами фабрику, конвейер и различные производственные помещения и аппараты для производства деталей. Сейчас мы чудесным образом переместились в будущее и находимся с вами в России, в офисе компании «Всесоки».